Hello everybody, Smox here from Celebrant Quest and we are back with Above Snakes. This is the Let's Play series um, and this is episode 3. So um, last episode I found the uh, camp um, that we had to place down. I actually placed it uh, right next to my settlement. So I'm here at Hunter's Rest. And here's the camp here um, with the survivors. I think it was the Sam, no, Sam Brown, the Brown Brothers. Um, and they want us to go and find something that's in the prairie. Now this world, um, this map, uh, I made a little bit of a boo-boo. Um, but I've put the Plains Prairie Tile here. And I'm going to put the prairie tile um on this side here so we still need to explore a little bit more if you can see down here on the right hand side at the bottom um this section here when i fill that bar up that means that we've got enough um exploration to um place down another uh world tile or world piece as they call it but world piece sounds like it's um P-E-A-C-E, -E, rather than the piece of the tile that they're referring to. Um, so I am just gathering a few more resources because what I'd really like to do is I'd like to perhaps make my base just a little bit better. It's only um, a two by two and it's, um, it's not very impressive. Um, so just gathering a few more things. And the more we gather, um, the closer we are to making a new world piece. And there we go. Got a new world piece. So let's put um, prairie. Okay. Oh, I need to research the prairie. All right. Let's go to our cartography table. Yeah. And we will research the, not Plains Prairie, just the Prairie. Very strange that there are two Plains Prairies. Uh, not really sure what the difference is, but okay, we need more flint to do that. So let's go back to harvesting these rocks here. Hopefully we'll pick up some more flint. There's a lot of things we need to do actually. We need to um, upgrade our tools. I think that once we upgrade our tools, this will be easier as well to gather resources. And once we've upgraded the tools, yeah, we'll um, hopefully find things like flint a little bit more easily. But until then, we're stuck with this primitive pickaxe. Search this tree because sometimes we can get some feathers from these trees and that's useful to make things like ink. Alright, drop back down now. We also have to continue searching trees that have um, that have some beeswax as well. So that we can um, So that we can upgrade our uh, work tables, etc. Oh, that's right. Can't walk in front of the tree because you actually take damage <laughs> when the tree falls on you. So let's not do that. Uh, how much flint do we have? Oh, we got six. Okay. Well, while we're here, we may as well just uh, harvest this rock, but we'll go back and we'll learn that prairie square. Go. All right, let's do it. Okay. 
What do we need for the lost provisions today? Maybe we don't actually need anything. Maybe we can just learn that and place it down. All right, so now we've got our prairie learnt. Let's go to the world map. We're going to place down the prairie and I'm actually going to place it down here. There we go. Okay, I saw a little bunny there. Do I need to do anything to... Oh, looks like I don't. Let's just see if we can place lost provisions. Oh, we can. All right, perfect. Let's... No? Oh, I see. Okay, I've got to place it down next to it. Okay. Um, hmm. I, I guess I'm going to place it there. I don't know. Um, that might be a bit of a silly thing to do. I'm not sure. Um, all right, let's go and collect this stuff. You know what? I'll just pick up a few berries on our way past because I can see down here on the right hand side, um, food meter is going down a little bit. So let's just have a few berries just to take care of that. We also can make some food at the campfire. Um, but I'll wait until, wait until it's night time to do that. I wonder if these new little twigs in the prairie are harvestable. Vanilla plant. Okay, that's cool. And what was this one? Cotton. Oh, wow. Now let's pick up... Oh, and hemp. Okay, that's... Oh, I can make a rope. Awesome. Okay, let's pick up a few of these pieces while we're here. New world pieces ready. Okie doke. Loud mint. Oh, lovely. Hmm. We'll be able to make quite a few lovely recipes now. Oh, little piece over here. This darker green. Let's investigate. Wild carrot. Oh no, I can see some zombies. <laughs> Alright, let's get our weapon out. I guess the axe will be good. Okay. Come on, zombies. Let's do this. No? Okay, you haven't aggroed onto me yet. Oh, there they go. Do they? Get the axe out just in case. Alright, come on, mate. Okay, why? Oh, I put it away, did I? Alright, there. That's a bit better. And dodge. No, you still got me. What if I just tank it? Honestly? There we go. I'll just tank it. Loot. Right. Um that meter that we or the sorry, the the way that the um everything just changed then. Um and has gone to this beautiful kind of sepia or like orange colour means that night is falling. So we really need to get back to our our tent, otherwise, well, I don't exactly know what comes out at night, but I'm guessing more of these zombies come out. So let's make our way back, and then when it we get a fresh morning, we can come back to uh to that that site and we'll gather those provisions. It looks like those um those zombies aren't doing much damage to me, so I'll just Maybe I'll just tank the damage that they do. Um, don't worry about trying to to dodge really at the moment, I think. Just gathering a few more things before we head um, back to... Actually, I probably should search that before I chop it down. So are any of you playing this game? Um, it seems pretty cool so far, I can say. But I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about it as well, so let me know. Let's turn this view around. Okay. We're going to light up our campfire. I want to see if we can make some really nice um, really nice food. Have a little look. Alright, what can we do? What if we do some carrots? We'll do some berries. Did that change anything? Oops, I didn't mean to add two berries. Honey. 
Ooh, so that takes away water? Is that what it's saying? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Maybe I want to... No, what am I doing? Get rid of the bone. <laughs> um, can I cook three at a time? Oh, you can. That's good. Okay, cool. We've got some water. Let's do some berries. Let's do some mint. And let's do some vanilla. Ooh. Okay, it's not... Might not be as good as the others. I don't want a whole heap of those. What was really good? The the carrots seem to add quite a bit to to it. Um, yeah, alright, that looks like nice. Let's try that one. Mmm, yum yum. <laughs> alright, what combination haven't we tried? This one maybe? No. Why do I want a water in there? Do I want a water in there? Let's try this first. Not sure if I've done this one before. Alright, beautiful. Um, okay, let's sleep for the night. Oh, let's save our game. And then we'll rest for the night. <sighs> hey. I'm still alive. Okay. Let's have a little look at what meals we have because our water and our food here are really not having fun. So that one does thirst, hunger. We don't need fatigue and health, so let's leave that one. Cook meal does thirst and hunger. Oh, beautiful. Look how much thirst that gave back. Um... Thirst, hunger, fatigue. Let's leave the ones that do fatigue and health. Minus fatigue. Um, ah, screw it. Let's eat the beans. <laughs> we'll be okay. Um, with that. No, I'll, no, that's right. I forgot. I was thinking that maybe. Um, oh, I wonder if I can put some things in the workbench. Or use use that I was thinking like when I got that tin can I was wondering if I could use the tin can to make something I wonder if we should let's make a storage chest because I feel like um, I don't want to be carrying around things like the tin can and everything I mean I, I just don't see I don't see the need oh gosh I really need to <laughs> expand my base all right let's pop the storage in oops not that button There we go. Um, let's put it here. There we go. Alright, let's put some of our stuff in there because I just don't feel like we should carry all of this. Or, I mean, we don't have a weight limit or anything from what I've seen. But it might just be quite useful to have them in there. Let's put all of this as well. I just... Oh, no, let's keep the beans just in case we need it. The rest I don't see us really. We'll keep the food on us. Oh, we'll put the miscellaneous items away. We don't need those just yet. Oh, we'll keep the candle. What the hell? <laughs> oh no. There we go. Alright. So, let's go and go and get these lost provisions. We're going to... We're going to kill some of the zombies if we need to. Um, I'm just going to eat some more. Uh, what are they called? Huckleberries? We'll at least get some of our thirst and hunger stat back. Very beautiful. Okay. Or carrots as well, because I think the carrots seem to go quite nicely in the food we were cooking. Alright, here we go. I wonder if that other zombie has respawned. Nope. Alright. 
we're just gonna tank this because we seem to get our health back quite quickly so I don't really feel the need to try to dodge everything all right oh you've got a rotten tooth on you mate mm, beautiful <laughs> All right, what have we got? That looks... I was going to say it looks like a dead horse. But what tore its head off? I don't know, man. I need a common key. Right, come on, matey. Let's do this. Oh, jeez. He's really getting me. Oh, I see. Okay. How often do you do your little spit thing? Oh. More often than I would like. <laughs> Let's loot his body. And beans. Okay. Now this must be the provisions. No. Open uncommon key. Where do I get the common key from? Must be some more in here. What about the cart? I wonder if I can use the hammer to... Do something with the cart? No? Okay, that's cool. Ah, cart with provisions. Okay, beautiful. This is where I found the provisions that the survivors lost. Why? Okay, well, I don't want to keep going back into it. So maybe the, um, the men will give me give me a key to open those boxes perhaps I don't know pick up some of these let's go see our friends in the camp and um, see what um, what the the reward is for helping them all right where's my buddy Sam no oh, one beautiful Hello, sir. Hmm. Thank heavens. This should be enough to keep us going for another couple of months at least. I hope you can I hope we can go home to Corpse Creek someday. We own the trading post out there, but I can't imagine what state it's in right now. Is that it? Oh no. <laughs> I was like, what? Hmm. Thank you for retrieving those provisions. They're a real lifesaver after what happened to us in the prairie. No problem. I'm trying to help after everything that happened to the poor people of my old hometown. Gosh, I miss her. Sorry, I'm drifting away. You can ask who he's referring to. Ask if they need anything else. Um, I'm going to ask if they need anything else. Can I help you with anything else? Well, our tents are pretty ripped up, you see. Would you do us another favor? We need to pitch, uh, sorry, patch the holes in the tents. Yes, of course. How do we fix the tents? Great, would you happen to have any spare fabric for us? If you don't have any fabric, maybe you can find some cotton and make some. Okay, dude, that sounds like a great idea. All right, patching holes. I need to get Greg Brown um, some resources to patch the damaged tents. So I need to create a tannery. Workbench two. All right. Let's go to the workbench and see what we can make. Hopefully we can make that tannery. Yeah. All right. So workbench tier two, a tannery. Okay. So we need five branches and four plant fibers. All right. What did we drop off into the loot crate? So branches, I just take the whole thing and plant fibers. Was that it? Gosh, I have the most terrible memory. <laughs> um, Tannery. Let's make it. Beautiful. Alright, let's place this. Building. Okay, lovely. Place that. Oh, let's place that. Not right in the middle of the door. That would be so silly. <laughs> Let's place it, um, I guess by the fire would make sense because you'd want this to dry. Alrighty, so we can make fabric um, and we can make rope. So let's grab the hemp that we left in the storage. There we are. Um, I'm going to grab that cotton as well. Uh, I think that was it for now. 
Might need some more plant fibers. Okay. So. Oh, I see. Oh, I, oh, I can make a bone axe now too. And a trap. Hmm. The plot thickens. Okay. All right. How many of these do I have to make? I can only make two, so... Oh, return to Greg. Okie dokie, let's go. That wasn't bad. That was actually very easy. Hmm. My god, I fin uh, finally a night's sleep without rain or wind in my face. Thank you, young saviour. Here, you've earned a little something. This is the one and only Brown's Miracle Tonic. Peyton is pending. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh dear, it fixes just about all health problems you might have. Okay, but what are the side effects? <laughs> okay, there we go. Just don't trick too much of it, you hear? Thank Greg or ask if I can be further help. Um, Let's ask if he needs anything else. Is there anything else I can do for you? I love how I just don't even thank him. <laughs> well, you did so much already, but did my brother Sam tell you we got uh, how we got in this mess? Our mother Tara was with us during the escape, but she suddenly started acting all odd and such. And then she jumped at us, crushing the wagon. Okay. Will you keep a lookout for her? Her name is Ms. Mrs. Tara Brown. Okay, I can do that. No problem. Thank you very much. I hope she's all right. Me too. Okay, so... Hmm... Let's, um, I want to get some of these fibers while we're just standing here. Um, so we need to put down some more world pieces. I'm wondering if we should, no, I was, well, I was thinking maybe we should put down a piece that kind of, um, finishes the prairie, but... I'm not going to do that until until I know what I need, I think. Um, you know what could be handy is maybe... Where's the map? Maybe putting some more... Some more useful biomes, like, say, right here in these two squares. Or even perhaps here, just so we're not having to go really far afield each time we're doing something. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but you know what I mean. Um... So let's see, what? Oh, a lumberjack cabin requires research at the cartography table. All right, let's do some, oh my God, it's nighttime. Bloody hell. Um, I haven't even, I haven't lit the camp. Dear me. <laughs> I was too busy looking at our quests. All right, just having some more food. The whole sanity thing will be really interesting to see, you know, how that plays out. Um, let's be good and let's um, save the game and we will rest. <sighs> All right, tis a brand new day. Um, I'll go to the cartography table. Okay, I lum lumberjack's cabin. I need three rocks and two cotton. Let's sprint over to the prairie. We'll get some cotton. And I'm guessing this is the type of thing that when you do subsequent playthroughs you will learn a little bit more of what's what's more efficient to have near you and why. Um, but for now, I'm quite happy just, <laughs> just playing through and finding out as we go. Um, in case I didn't make it clear, this is a completely blind playthrough. I have seen absolutely nothing about this game, um, which is very unlike me. Usually if I'm excited about a game, I will watch like every playthrough, every tutorial, um, you know, just because I can't get enough of the game itself. Um, but this one I haven't. 
So, you know, <laughs> just see where this takes us. All right, so what have we got now? Uh, my resources? Okay, five. What did we need? I think we needed four. Um, we did need some rocks as well, but while I'm here, I'm just going to collect more things. Um, it'll save us coming back in the long run. So we'll grab up all of this stuff. So with each time I use things like the sprint and everything, stamina is increasing. So I'm going to guess that means that, um, you know, if stamina just went to five, that means that I'm going to get tired less quickly, I would think. Gosh, we're going to have like a completely full bag when we get home. <laughs> Um, I haven't seen any kind of weight restriction or anything, but I don't know whether that is the case for certain. Like, I don't know whether if you have like a heap of stuff in your bag, whether it maybe drains your stamina a little more quickly. Um, now I just wanted to see, no, a common key. All right. And that doesn't give us anything. Okay. While we're here, let's just take care of these rocks. Oh, that's good to know. I can see the cotton, etc. just respawning in the prairie here. That's good. I wasn't sure whether it would or not. Need to eat a little bit more as well. Let's grab this one. The prairie is very pretty. Dyke. Let's go home. Try to make the lumberjack square for the map. I wonder if any of these trees have beehives. I can't see any, but we'll check anyway. Maybe they've got some feathers. <laughs> it's funny how some of the trees just respawn and they just like, just pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> I really want to expand my base as well, so I can't forget about that. <laughs> just get too excited and just keep going with all the quests. Water and food. I don't know. It just feels like water and food is draining quite quickly. Maybe it's maybe it's just me. I don't know. It just feels like it's but mind you, that could be because I'm not fully um, satiating that need when I do drink or eat some of the recipes that we've made. This one, the lumberjack cabin. Let's research that. Righty. Let's see where I can put this one. So it's actually in the pine forest. So it needs to be next to this one. Okay, not here because that's not a transition piece. Got you. If I put this one here though, and I put a transition piece here in this square here where I am now will that connect properly I am not sure let's just see let's put that we'll put the cabin here let's just see what happens 
I say. Um, all right. And did we have a section for quests? Yes. Your quest lock is currently empty. Is it? Oh. Let's see if we can upgrade some of our stuff. What do we need? We, I think we need the workbench. Okay, that's a wooden chair. A decorative chair made of wood. Nothing fancy, but it won't collapse under you. Requires placement on a foundation. An arch, a wooden arch. A fletching table. Oh, we've got a wooden table. Make bows and arrows. Oh, you know what? Do I need to go and pick up the wooden table? You know what, let's just make another wooden table and then we'll make the fletching table because we'll just leave that wooden table inside. <gasps> Look what we can make! Arrows, the warden, composite bow, etc. That'll be good because we've seen a lot of the... On a rocking chair, oh my gosh. I'm definitely making a porch and we're going to have the rocking chair. <laughs> You know what? I could make a wraparound veranda. That would be beautiful. Um, okay, so where did my fletching table go? That is awesome. Okay, let's put this one. Let's put this one like behind the the work table, workbench. Oh yes, here we are. Okay, so we need feathers. Bowstrings, beeswax. Okay, a few bits and bobs. How do I make a bowstring? Let's see. I can make a rope. Make a new. That looks like we can make a new. An enhanced robe, but, but what am I already wearing? A robe. One gear level. A very simple piece of clothing that offers almost no protection. Okie doke. But what is this one? Oh, yep. Okay, let's make some fabric. And let's make us a new set of clothes. That sounds cool. Alright. F to equip. There we go. An enhanced robe. What do I look like? Probably the same. Same to me. <laughs> Looks exactly the same. All right, let's see if we can do some building. Um, no, that's that's not what I wanted to do. How do I make my building pieces? I have to go to my workbench, maybe. Yes, that's how we do it. Okay, log step. Look, roof. Okay. Let's make a couple more foundations. Let's make, um, I don't know. Let's make four for now. Go. You know what? Let's rest because I can't see anything. <laughs> it's so dark. Let's rest. <sighs> My mouth feels so dry. Oh my gosh. You better drink something, sweetheart. There we go. And we need something to eat as well. Uh, let's do the beans. Oh god, look how our fatigue went down. Whoopsie. <laughs> let's try this number, whatever's on number eight. That soup that looks a bit green. It gives a little bit. All right, let's do some more berries. Dear. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's make our base a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, we are going to need many, 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 many more foundations. I mean, I don't want to go crazy, but I at least want it to look a little bit nice, you know? Ow. 
I'll axe out. But, oh, that's good. This is going to give us plant fibers at the same time. Okay. And we need to search the lumberjack's place. Actually, before I do this to my house, I probably should see the lumberjack because it's likely that going there will give us either resources um, or a way to collect things much more easily. So I say let's just go there. Where is it? Alright, that's where we're headed. Beautiful. Let's do this. We'll collect some more berries on the way back. Can I see any... Oh, yes I can! Oh, look, there's a deer, but what I've spotted... Some trees with... Oh, there's a zombie down here. Some trees with the um, the bees in them. The beeswax. Get them in a sec, hopefully. Oh, there's bees given some. <laughs> there we go. Bees, honey. Nice. Now let's just take out this zombie, actually. Oops, wrong one. I uh, want to see a little better. Hello, mate. Nope. Oh my gosh. Can't see anything. Do you know what? We really need to make the um the bone uh was it a bone axe? Or some it was a bone axe. Alright. Cut this down and then we'll go and look at um the lumberjack hut before we get stuck out here because it's going to be night time soon. Oh, wait. We'll stop to get a mushroom. I mean, I say what I'm going to do and then I do something completely different. So <laughs> you'll, you'll get used to that. <laughs> hey, hello. Is anybody here? Oh my god, that's a dog. Wait, let's go and see the man first. Hello. Hmm. It's dark. Hello there, very pleased to meet you. I'm Stark and this is my simple home. The woods were such a nice, safe place before the Lost Souls began roaming around here. Well, I know Stark because I just took one out. So that's one point to me. <laughs> such a shame. Luckily for me, I don't live in Corpse Creek. Oh my gosh, so many options. Okay, we've got ask why he lives um, alone here. Ask about his dog. Ask why he sees these... Sorry, ask why he seems worried about the people. Ask about the region. I'm going to ask about his dog because that's one of the first things that I noticed. Mr. Stark, is that dog outside your dog? Oh, I see you have met Base already. Well, I didn't meet him, I just saw him. I don't know what I could do without him. Uh, he is my loyal companion and best friend. He laughs. Oh, he is harmless and he does everything. For some silly, for some belly rubs. Oh my god, I can't read today. Okay. Why do you live here all alone? Don't you feel lonely? Lonely? Not at all. And I don't live alone by any means. Base is my best friend and a good boy. The bestest of boys. <laughs> you seem to be worried about the people that used to live in Corpse Creek. Any particular reason? Oh, do I? Well, uh, apparently... These woods were such a nice safe place before the Lost Souls began roaming. It's a shame. I've heard dreadful things about that night. Say, could you do me a favour? I'll explain a little later. It would make me feel a lot better. What favour? <laughs> that is so sus. Glad to hear. Well, I'm planning to make something, but I will require a skull of a big animal has to be of some size. Understood? Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see what I can take from his stuff. Oh, man. I feel like I'm just the worst. There's a rocking chair. Can I steal any of your shit in here? <laughs> Stuck's better. Can't sleep in it. Alright. Got a book. Alright, Mr. Stark, move out the way. Well, let's open the chest right in front of you. We'll take your rocks. <laughs> let's go and have a look at base. Hello, base. Woof woof. Oh, rub his belly.
Really? That's what he wants. Oh. That's cute. Why would I put a collar on him? Oh, look at the collar. Let's see. What is the name? Okay, base. Apparently, you're named base. Aww. Oh, not base. It's bass. <laughs> Well, I thought base is a pretty good name. It's Bass. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. So we need a big animal. I'm wondering if a deer counts as a big animal. We're gonna have to make a few of those um, arrows and a and a bow. So don't really see us taking down a quote unquote big animal without um, having one. I mean, I, like, I really doubt that we're going to have um, success with an axe, you know. <laughs> I think we'd rather, we'd, we'd just likely come out you know, at the bottom very quickly. Okay, we're collecting a bit of beeswax, which is great. How much do we have? Oh, I thought I had much more than that. All right. Cut down this tree, get some more beeswax, we'll pick up those mushrooms. We will gather a few more trees on the way home. And then, hopefully we can put to a bow to good use. That'd be quite good. <coughs> what I'd really like to do is upgrade the axe and the pickaxe as well. That'd be quite good. Pick up a few more plant fibers. Beeswax, honey, etc. I have to make some more food too, I have a feeling. I need to find a recipe that does a lot of um, a lot of the hunger requirement. The art style of this game is very pretty. <gasps> Jeez, those bees are really giving me some. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go home just like hobbling. I'm almost dead because of the bees. <laughs> Gee. Righty. be close to home. There we are. Okie dokie. Um, let's see fletching table. I can make some arrows but I'm reluctant to do that without a bow. A bowstring? How do I make a bowstring? Maybe... Let's try to make a rope at the tannery and see if that possibly like leads into something else. I, I have no idea. Okay, so, okay, fishing rod, enhanced pick, enhanced axe. Okay. Um the work let's see what the workbench gives us. Because I think that's how we got Yeah, that's how we got the tannery. What do we need for the tier three? Do we need tin ore? Is that what it is? But I can't upgrade it because to tin ore yet because I can't get tin ore with my crappy um, tools. Okay, that's cool. Alright, cartography table, what do we got? A glade. Nice. 
Oh, this will be where the game is. Okay. It looks kind of pine tree esque. Um, let's do this plains prairie. Okay. Okay. So this plains prairie is half half, but this plains prairie is three quarters plains. Oh, that's the same with these two here. Okay, I got you. Let's put the glade down. Okay, so we can't put it... Huh. Um... You can see how these biomes are just way more than just one tile long. Okay, so we've popped that down. Oh god, it's night again. Let's um go to sleep. I'm gonna save the game. We're gonna go to sleep for the next day. <sighs> All right, so in this episode, what did we do? We put the lumberjack down. We've spoken to the lumberjack. Um, I really need to um, expand the house. I really need to eat something. <laughs> oh, honey's good. Oh, it does use. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. So now we're not like starving and, you know, um, dying of thirst. <laughs> I'm going to call the episode here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, next episode, I'll continue expanding our little hut and um, see if we can get an arrow and some uh, a bow and arrow um, because I don't see us hunting anything in the glade until we do. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Uh, my name's Smox um, from Celebrant Quest, and I will see you for episode four of the blind let's play of Above Snakes. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.